The most popular question when a customer walks into the shop is, what's fresh today? What do you mean, what's fresh today? I understand what you're trying to ask me, but I don't understand why you will want it. It's not what's best. I'll ask them, how old do you think this fish is? And they'll use everything they know traditionally to assess the freshness of the fish. They'll look at the eyes, they'll look at the colors, they'll look at the fins, they'll smell it, and they'll tell me it's fresh. And I'll tell them it's 14 days old. The entire family of Liao's is just deeply engulfed in fish and fishing. We've been hands-on for like ever. And when we would catch a lot of fish and then cooked it on the boat, it was just eh. Day two tasted better than day one. Day three tasted better than day two. Day four tasted better than day three. The fish is developing character, it's developing flavor. So it actually got better as it aged. So that kind of got me thinking like fresh is no longer the best. When we first started, we were like a traditional fish market. Haul ice, get ice bins, fillet things. I would spend so much effort trying to keep things from smelling. I spent so much effort trying to make sure that things look good. It's horrible. I can only imagine what other fish markets throw out because they do it that way. I think every fish is different. It's an art to assessing every fish and from experience developing a strategy. In 10 days, most chefs are throwing out this fish, but they're not realizing that this fish is actually next level if taken care of the right way. Any chef will always want to work with a better product. I have so many private chefs that come in and buy fish from me. They already know what fresh is like. To me, fresh fish is boring. How much fish is lost in the world? All markets, when they pack your meat, they throw it in a bag, wrap it up, and then there it is, stewing in its own juice and slime and blood. And we get home, you open it, and it just smells. I tell people that the initial period of dry aging of fish is kind of like the cleanup process. Because you're getting rid of the blood, you're getting rid of the slime, you're getting rid of all that smell. You're cleaning up the fish before it's ready to be eaten. And there's so many benefits to that. By dry aging fish, we're building umami, building flavor, intensifying flavor. Goodbye moisture. Bite into it, it's... In your mind, it's screaming, it's more juicy, it's more tender, it's more succulent, it's more delicious. My name is Li Wei, and I eat dry aged fish for breakfast.